Good evening, and welcome to the actually long-awaited part 17 of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. In the last video you saw Forgotten, after it was Forgotten, and in this episode I just wanted to point out just how much I've been playing this game since, because my stats are at now 2236. I have 651 on the items, did more kills and all that, and 485 secrets from 403, which was the base for <laughs> AB+. So I've gotten all the challenges, so we've got plenty of challenges to do by the time we get to the challenge videos. Uh, yeah, some of them are going to be fun, especially you, and maybe you. But yeah, the main thing is we've got some characters to play as today. And the first one I'm going to be playing as will be the one that is probably, I don't know, the easier one, I guess. Uh, Bethany. And for Bethany, we're going to be going to, well, I'm going to be going to one of the newer paths. I need to do that with Bethany. So there's two different options I can choose. I think I'm going to choose... The uh, yeah, I'm gonna choose the uh, the very ender one <laughs> at the very last boss of the game because I need to do that with Bethany. So Bethany starts off with the Book of Virtues, a space bar item that you know spawns a uh, flame whenever you use it. And uniquely, this passive this active item is treated as a passive item. So any other items you pick up or any active items you pick up can be used alongside the Book of Virtues to gain these wisps along with their specific effects of the item that you pick up. So depending on what you find, you can have a really powerful build with a bunch of wisps around you. Now one thing you may notice is that there is an additional pickup on the side that isn't usually there, and that's because Bethany cannot have soul hearts in her health bar at all. She's a strictly red heart user. So it's almost like Isaac, except not at the same time. Uh, yeah, why not? Wait, shit. Uh, that kind of negates what I was supposed to be doing for this. Fuck. Uh, I got a hope for like a matchbook coming up. So, yeah, like there's a couple of things that you want to do for the path I'm taking, and I'll sw I'll swap through them when the points come. So you'll find out soon. No, actually, in technicality, there are some other items that could show up that could help my cause. So yeah, the point of the Soul Heart of Bethany, because I almost lost the topic, is that you can use the Soul Hearts, half heart equals one charge, and you can use those charges to use your active item a lot more. So I could use this Kidney Bean four more times if I so wanted to, so I can get like four more flames. And if there was like... Like, you saw the main Book of Virtues had a four room charge, so that means if I use my Soul Hearts for that, it would be all of the charges taken up, and all four of the Soul Hearts would be disappeared. So, it's kind of a balance of what Soul Hearts you want to use and where. And trust me, things are going to get more interesting when we get to the challenges, because, you know, given as they're new challenges, they're going to have new challenges using the new characters. So you're going to have a couple of Bethany challenges, maybe a Jacob challenge as well, a Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau, just wait until we get to Jacob and Esau, my friends. Just you wait. I have many things to say about Jacob and Esau. <laughs> and you'll find out soon, so don't you worry, your pretty little head about any of this. Here we are in the burning basement. Oh, yeah, there's... I, like, I definitely said it in that first uh, viewing live stream that I did on the 31st when this came out. Even though it was pretty stuttery, um, you still got the audio, which is pretty fine, I suppose. But yeah, like, there's a lot of stuff that has been changed around, and some of the things are a lot more interesting now than they used to be. There you go, that solved my problem. That's why the prize that would be nice to have, but I gotta keep it there. So the first thing you need to do, just to help you out for this alternate path, is leave a trinket in a boss room or an item room. That'll be evident later on. And it will take a little bit of a later on until we get there. But you know, hey, as long as I keep using my 
kidney being able to find some stuff. Uh, some interesting changes uh, that I do like is that holy water has become a lot more useful. Instead of just a spell that happens once you take damage, it's a throwable item. Where it's a f it's it's like Bob's brain, where you throw it at an enemy and it drop, drops the creep, and then once the creep disappears, it takes like half a second and then it respawns. So it's a lot more useful now. And glass cannon was also one that they teased they changed, and glass cannon was changed in a decent enough way. Uh, unlike how it used to be, where you would d bring be brought down to one heart. And that's all you had to deal with. Um, instead, you would fire off a big old shot as normal, and it's and if it respawns, so it's like a one room. So it's not necessarily like this. It's not a one room shot anymore. It's a rechargeable item like the blue candle and all that. But if you take damage, you uh, take full wound damage, so like one whole hut of damage, and the item breaks and you have to wait four rooms before you can use it again. So yeah, there's some use to it. The old lost strategy probably wouldn't work as well, but at the same time, it's not like you'd be taking damage anyway as the lost, so the strat could still work. And speaking of other changes, you... That's the other thing I forgot to mention about the Book of Virtues. You may notice, on the side of the screen, with the chances of Devil Rooms and Angel Rooms, that there is a 0% chance of Devil Room, but a 36% chance of Angel Room, which used to be 100% before I took damage. See, that's the, the fun thing about the Book of Virtues. You become a lot more likely to get Angel Rooms than Devil Rooms. And by that, it made it so getting to the Mega Satan fight with Bethany was a lot easier to do. Because she just has his natural chance of finding Angel Rooms a lot more commonly. Which is, which is fun. It's cool. And, and fun too. Hello, little horn. I should probably show off some more things going on in the background. Like, you know, there's that changed boss intro screen, which is accurate to more, like, Vanilla Isaac. And a lot of stuff in this thing was changed to be more like Vanilla Isaac as well. Case in point, um, if you take, if you grab some health, it the health bar flashes a very little bit. Uh, some bosses have their old animations back, and some other things too that I can't think of at the top of my head. So it's fun! Figured I might as well use a charge there just to get an extra flame. The flames, depending on what items you have, I might have already said this, but depending on what item you have in your active item slot, uh, they will do different wisp effects. Like if you have the coupon, uh, it will spawn a wisp that does triple shot, however it will go away once you buy something. Book of Belial does some interesting things too. Uh, I think with this one, it shoots off Charm Tears. Which makes sense. Oh, Constellation Prize. That one's a decent enough uh, item to pick up. Let's go. So yeah, there's the alternate paths. We went through them a couple of times before, but... You know, we're not really going for them this run. I'm just going through the base floors, my bro. Now you may notice, hey, I've got keys, why did I skip that item room? I probably could have gone to get an item that I so desperately wanted to grab. See, that's another thing they added. Once you've picked up about three Zodiac uh, items in a single run, or the Tiny Planet, or the Magic 8 Ball, stuff like that, you unlock a new type of room that becomes more likely to show up the more treasure rooms you skip. So the more I skip treasure rooms on my runs down, which I probably should be doing because of what I'm doing coming up, it gives me more of a chance to find the, well, this new room type if it does show up. Hopefully it does, because otherwise I'm in a precarious situation and I need to do things. So um, just to talk about challenges really quick, because it, it came to my mind. Uh, you see how Bethany has this all out thing. One of the challenges, uh, Bloody Mary, is probably one of the ones that people say is a lot more difficult than it really would be normally. That's because of an item you start with called the Blood Oath, which after every floor brings you down to half a heart and you get a bonus to 
for speed and damage, but you're brought down to half a heart after every single floor, and you have to go pretty far down in the basement to get to your end goal. However, if you are careful whilst you're playing as Bethany, you should be pretty good, actually. It's not like it's the end of the world of a challenge. There's definitely a lot worse challenges to be done, which are ones I haven't done still yet. It's fun. Actually, it isn't. Incredible. Just destroy the hosts. Because the hosts are annoying. That means I should probably start uh, exploring the extents of these floors. Because if not, then I'm left with doing nothing. There we go, is that host? That's not even a host, it's a mulligan, I think. Can't remember. There are bestiaries that I could look at, but I don't want to. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want you. Uh, no matter how many times I see that room, I hate it every so often. And it just keeps wanting to show up. How bloody dare it. I wish it didn't. And the only people that I play as that get better at that room are ones that have flight. So I just fly over Sacrifice rooms. They exist. But given that I'm Bethany and I don't have any soul hearts to deal with, it's something else. And the other thing too, because you don't get soul hearts, it becomes a lot more difficult to actually get to the angel rooms and devil rooms. Just to spawn them up. Because you don't have to take damage at all if you want that full percentage chance. But you know, while we're here, here's a change to an item. Deep Pockets now gives you an extra digit on your money. So that the cap is now 999. It's something that I didn't expect to see, but after seeing it, it's pretty interesting. It means that Greed's Gullet and Money is Power become a lot more interesting and don't have a hard cap of just 99. Oh, there's a rotten heart. Those are cool. Rag mega boof. So rotten hearts because we're here. Um, like you know most of the stuff you can find in uh, anti-birth but rotten hearts for those of you who do not know and have not seen anti-birth before. If you clear a room whilst you have a rotten heart in your health bar you will get some bonus blue flies. But at the same time if you take damage the Rotten Heart cannot come in halves, it will disappear in one shot, no matter what. So it's kind of risk and reward, in some respects. I still need to do things with Magdalene to get that one unlock that gives you a heart every time. Yeah, well you know, it's like the Yum Heart except it's for Rotten Hearts. I still need to do that. Curse of the Unknown, I don't know what my health is! No, it doesn't matter. That's some new enemies, some crazy pins, mini pins. They are the most fun. Because they just show up sometimes, and sometimes I forget about them. You know, like a usual question too. Like, see, there's some more of them. You think your room is done, but then they are here to send you away. I ran into that. And I can't blame anyone but myself for that. Wow. I should play this carefully. Wooha! Okay, that is a bomb. I'm going to just blow that up just to see if we can get some money. Ah, convenience. That wasn't even intended. That's a new layout for a secret room. Lucky Penny? That had a different sound to it. Plus the lock. Oh, uh, yeah, also, for the stuff on the site there. They recalculated how range works, so you don't have, like, high ranges now. I mean, range is still the same, it's just the way that it's displayed is different. And speaking of displaying differently... Uh, tier rate now shows the actual tiers per second and not the delay between tiers being shot out. So that's one thing. Tarot card, I see the future. Double wheel of fortune, dude! With the tarot card you can actually see that you have uh, more powerful cards because they flash very slightly. You Actually, you can slightly see it, so it's alright. Poof. Take that, Larold Jr. Oh, come on. There we go. Keep on running through, see if we can find this one item. Do you want to blow this up for me for free? I can do it myself, but yeah, Yeah, I do it. Come on, son. I should have brought that over. Eh, hell yeah, though. I appreciate that. Oh, you know, something else that got changed. Um, the the virus, the um, the, the red syringe that lust drops, um, that got buffed so that instead of taking away speed, it gives you speed. 
and um, in th the poison stuff actually does like contact damage as well. And speaking of contact damage, like Butterbean as well also got a buff where if an enemy is knocked into a wall, they take damage. So there's a little more use to Butterbean, but as a response, the hidden feature of it sometimes turning into Wade Watt if you keep putting it on the pedestal, that was taken away, so it can never become Wade Watt if you keep picking it up over and over again. So yeah, it's a fun fact if you didn't know it, but hey. I mean, if you're still playing on Switch at this point, then you can take that information and use it for yourself. Just grab yourself some of that and then run away with it. You can do that. It's all up to you. Not sure why I went here. There's definitely nothing on this side. I just wanted to see, test my prowess by firing tears at these bonies. Oh, ee. that was close. Yikes. It's up for that. There was nothing here. Ah, well, now I feel chipped. Just run on through. In due time. Okay. <laughs> Stuff takes a while, you know. Bethany is at 0.8 speed. Speed doesn't change at all. It, like the max is still 2.0, but yeah. Actually, no, that is the um. It's not that these tears of the fire actually charm. It's that once they dispose of themselves by like, like being destroyed, they explode into a thing. Experimental pill. That's a new one. I think that was a HP down for a shot speed up kind of deal. Which okay. Oh shit. Play carefully, my friend. Still haven't found the one thing, but you know, I've, I've got good uh, items right now. I could still hold out to try and find the one room that I want to spawn. Hello, Chop. Spoof. There's some Wheel of Fortunes I could put at any point, but at the same time, he's destroying his own things. Boof. Do that again. There he goes, just so he doesn't destroy his shit. I'm okay with that. I mean, there's only a little. Uh, all of those things, they don't even matter to me. They're just fine as is. Run away with it. Play funnily. Have fun. If I just stay my- if I stand my ground, I should be able to be safe and sound. Yeehaw, oh god. Destroy you. 36%, still nothing. Fine. Can take that. Supper, that's a new HP item. Just shows up in the boss room. Makes sense. Keep moving on. Oh no, my pants, they were pulled down. What's that drink? Tank depths one. 100% chance of a devil room if I wanted it, but I don't want it. <laughs> because, you know, the angel room has to spawn first. It's still at that point. Because, you know, that's the fun fact. It's only until you get it the first time when the other room starts trying to spawn with its chances. So I'm at this point of no return, where there's no chance for a devil room. <laughs> eh, it's kind of funny. I don't even want to see what's in that room. I want to keep moving on. Womp to you. You know, it's good to have these orbitals, you know, because a little extra protection. It's cool. Wait! Blowing you up. So yeah, for this other room that I'm trying to get to spawn, it's for every item room that, or every treasure room that you skip, which means you don't enter it at all, you don't see any item that's in there. Every one that you skip, there's an extra 20% chance, I think that's the amount, extra 20% chance for it to show up on the following floor. And it keeps going up as well, given how many rooms you uh, skip. And given the paths that you want to take to do what I'm doing right now, you may want to do that because of what happens soon. Don't worry, it'll all make sense soon. This is all very fun stuff. And by the way, uh, I should mention this as well. Don't bother trying to do this if you're just starting out. You need to unlock things first. Because, you know, I was able to do this immediately because of, you know, end game file with all the achievements that were in Activate Plus unlocked. You can't do this right off the bat. In fact, I watched, I'm watching this one series that this guy's doing because it was recommended to me, his Iceberg video, and now he's doing like a four-person file in True Corp. By the way, True Corp is a thing. I might try it off at one point. I don't know when or how, but I will. It should be fun. But yeah, he was doing like this four-person co-op file 
and it, it's been fun watching it. He's got decent chemistry with his friends, and everyone seems to be having fun with the game. It's gonna take a long time for them to actually get anywhere, given what they are aiming to do, like trying to go as far as possible with that four-person file. It's gonna take a long time, so that's why I'm gonna probably add this recording, even like save the playlist, so that I know when new stuff gets added to it. I don't know. Just me being dumb. There are these guys, these funny buggers that are annoying. As long as you leave. Ah! God damn it. Him and his. That, I don't even remember that attack. I don't remember him pulling up a tendril from nowhere. That's funny. Oh, that's funky even. Still chunky but funky. Hey. Pick up a key and keep ribbon on. Gotta. This is the thing. I need to explore every single floor in order for me to actually get anywhere. There's an item room, I don't want to take it still, unless the one thing shows up, but at the same time I still won't take it. <laughs> God. You know, as long as I keep using the kidney bean, I should be fine. But I might want to blow up the Wheel of Fortune at some point. It might be the time for me to do that. Wheel of Fortune, dude! Hey, Meconium. It's a trinket, but I can't pick it up. Come on, you. There's the host. Oh, and you! Prick, prick off, dude. Poink. I will kick a trinket at you. You deserve that trinket. It's a piece of shit, just like you. It truly represents who you are in this world. That's a health. That's cool. I'm, I'm good at that. If I get a two of hearts, then that would be nice. Very nice as well. I wonder if... I think it's probably not gonna be at this point, but I'm, I was wondering if there was gonna be any extra cards that I've unlocked that shows up in this run, but I don't think so. It does nothing. Whoa. Fire a laser beam at him. Just keep firing at him. See, it's those geysers that are annoying. They just destroy their entire stuff once you destroy them. And for some reason, they go incredibly far out. I'm just glad that we have our uh, placenta going on. Because if not, then we would be dealing with a lot more serious shit at this point. And I'm pretty sure we won't be able to get anywhere near close to getting more than 100 coins in this run, given just how few coins we have at this point. But, you know, you'll see it soon, hopefully. You know, maybe not in this video, maybe in someone else's video. It's probably a lot cooler to see in greed mode, and a lot cooler to see when you have a broken synergy with the two of diamonds. With some new items. There's a cracked ice. I don't need you. There's a shop. We can see what's in there. Ah, oof, eef, oof, eef, beep beep. Hey, Ace of Hearts, cool. So uh, here's a fun change with the Ace of Hearts. Oh, actually, any of the Aces, by the way. I'll see if I can show it. It turns any enemies now into a pickup of their choice. So if you had an ace of spades in a big old room with a bunch of flies in it, you can get a ton of keys just like that. It's crazy. And, so, and it is also non-boss enemies. You can't just waltz up into Larry Jr.'s face and be like, I want to turn you into keys. That's not the case. Also, I think uh, mimic chests have been made more subtle. They did get a slight change to them. So they, they looked a little bit uh, different in comparison to regular chests, but now they are definitely... A lot more subtle because they pretty much look like a regular uh, regular chest but they just have a blood stain on their bottom corner and so I'm surprised at the luck right now because there's not been a single one of them rooms I'm trying to spawn they might show up next floor I'm hoping because if not then that's some really terrible luck that I've been going through for this one thing that I want to see and it's good to see it because there's still a couple things in that room that I haven't seen yet. So I just need to pick them up for my collection. Because the collection is still pretty big and there's still no chance for me. Hey, look, marbles! I can't pick up any of those trinkets. How sad, but, eh, you know. Time to run away. <laughs> Hit in the face of a dodgeball. You only get to lie up there. This happens to Bethany on a regular basis. So here is a different change. There is a new door here that has a square on it. Who knows what that square does? But now is the time to start looking around. 
because you need to look at skulls that you can find throughout all the rooms. And you'll know which skull is the right skull when I point it out. I hate the double. Nice, I guess. It's not here. Nowhere near as close. I think those uh, flow bins are new. Oh, no, those are ones that already exist. Never mind. I was say, they're new. They're definitely new. But they're not. There are new globins. They show up in different floors. We'll be sh seeing one of the floors very soon. Believe me. We are. That's one heart. Okay. Run to here. There's just these. Okay, I guess this is a, a ranged room. Which to fire from a distance. And be careful with shots. So if I take damage, I have no idea what help I'm at. There's no way for me to tell. I hope to find like a rainbow poop. Or just anything else that will help me in my journey. Because at this point, it's a bit dangerous. Oh yeah, also, uh, it's a very small thing, but that bullet uh, visibility in the options, I set it to high. So now the bullets actually are vibrant. No, you don't, son. Woo-ha! No, that room ain't shit. It's the one in the caves that's annoying. Wolf. God damn it. You know, at least I'm running into these guys with the flames, so getting them down. More pennies. Don't be greed. Fuck you, greed! If there's anything that Isaac players know, is that greed is annoying. And greed is not useful to the cause. If you see greed, destroy it at all means necessary. Pick up some extra money while we're here, I suppose. Hey! That's one thing Greed gave me, it was just some health. Oh, there's the boss. Can't go there yet. I mean, I could go there, but we can't go there yet. We haven't found the important item. It's none of those skulls. There wasn't any skulls in there. Nothing around here. Gotta keep moving on, then. Just gotta find the one thing. It's very slight to see there, but the in the there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the, the pit's in the dank depths now. Is this the dank depths? Yeah. Uh, they're now filled with tar. It's very slight, you can barely see it, but they're tarry depths now. And that's kind of cool. I like that. Also, the, uh, the the reflection effects on the downpour dross and scarred womb now, they still look pretty good. Also, it's in the flooded caves too, I think. Yeah, that reflection stuff. I think that was also part of anti-birth. I might be wrong, it's been a while. I could just look at my old video of anti-birth that I never uploaded, just to be true. And that's an interesting proposition. You can sacrifice things for other things, but I don't want to do that. Also, this seems like a pretty small floor. I'm surprised. Maybe it just splits off dramatically in a few moments' time. I don't know. Either way, it's still not shown up yet. Either way. There we go. There's the important one. So you see that skull on the left there? If you look at it very carefully, you can notice that there is an X marking on it. You need to blow that up with at least one bomb and hold on to this. Either that, or just hold on to a full card for the rest of your run until this point. There we go! How nice, we finally got one of the new rooms. The one that I've been skipping item rooms just to see. We'll get there eventually. Once I destroy everything in this room, it may take a while, because I'm cautious. There's that boom fly. He's being an ass. Hey, a bomb! Free! Free bombs! Yes! Yeehaw. So I could technically go back and pick up the item room as well here, but I don't want to do that. Not just yet. Come to you. You! Wherever you are! There, he's up there now. There he goes, thank god. And some flies. Okay, that's cool. I'm okay with that. Just some regular ass flies. Okay, so here's the room now. These are the planetariums. They are beautiful. Mars. Double tap dash. Invincible dash. It's like the war, but not at the same time. So, hell yeah. I did something. So, that's kind of cool. If I need to dash out of the way, I can just double tap. Get all the way to the other end of the room. That's nice. It's also good for speedrunning, I guess. 
even though we're at 26 minutes into this run, it's not gonna run speed in any way, shape, or form. You know, it's good for dodging, at least. I'm having fun dodging you, Mr. Monstro. You, my classic person, after all. I mean, that is one of the new ones that I hadn't picked up yet. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let's see what's in here. Game breaking blow. That got a different effect. You can now double tap to throw it at collectibles and anything like that. And it will re-roll it. And it will spawn either after the room or in the next floor. Um, I'm actually gonna bomb out of here because I have no purpose to be here anymore. I've got the fall and I need to leave. Alright, okay. Let's save the day. We've got our game-breaking bug. Now let us go fight mom. One thing remaining to do. If you think to yourself, hey, why not use the fall now? Well, here is your question being answered right now. You don't need to use the fall just yet. You'll find out why it's used in just a moment. After we fight mom. Also, mom's foot does contact damage now. That's a big change. Like before, you could just escape the explosion and then be fine and just run into him and doing a bunch of stuff. But then they changed that, so now you can't quite do contact damage stuff unless you're truly invulnerable. So yeah, that's a thing to keep in mind. It's a very small thing, but it exists. Pump. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that running. I don't even know how that happened. I mean, I know how it happens. It's a double tap, but yeah. The double tap stuff is interesting because I didn't think about it. I think they actually patched out a double tap on one of the characters because of some changes, but... Hmm. I mean, what characters? We'll find out soon, don't worry. That is, if I am good... I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't know what my health is. And also, we're only at half health. Half health? Health! Just keep spawning these. I can only do so much more of these. Jesus. Just keep throwing. Now I'm sweating. God damn you. I don't want to know how much health I have. I'm in a bad spot, most likely. Ponty- Oh, Jesus Christ. Every time it happens. Damn it. And I- And I healed! God, fuck you, game. There was the sound. It played the sound. And I didn't even get to do the new path. God damn. Alright, so all you have to do after doing Beat Mom, you had to pick up one of the Polaroids or the negative, use the fool, and then use it on the door that's there. You can enter that door, and then you go for a new whole path, and eventually that's where the trinket being dropped in a boss or treasure room comes in. That turns into a different item, that leads you to a different place, and that's important for one of the things that you might want to do. I wanted to show it off in person, so that you can actually see what to do. However, this game hates me. So I was unable to do it, because I was also being precarious and trying to grab the planetarium just once. So that's that for Bethany's episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. In the next episode, we shall be trying out Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau. I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you when I see you next. Take care. Peace out. Other side words. <laughs>